Oh, there you are, YouTube. Doo 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 do. Subscribe. Hey, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. Okay, uh, we're gonna do a random ranking. We're gonna do a random ranking. And uh, basically, what that is, if you've never been here before, and we're just weirded out by that opening. Um, but <laughs> anyway. Uh, basically, that's when we go to my movie collection behind me and pick out three movies at random and then rank those movies from most favorite to least favorite based on whatever criteria we come up with. I'll rank them here in the video, but if you'd like to rank them in the comments below, please feel free to do so. Let's get to picking some movies. Wouldn't it be funny if we picked Hook today? Because I'm wearing that appropriate t-shirt. All right. Let's do... I don't know. See, the problem is... I've been getting movies that I've I've picked before a little too often. I don't even know how it's possible with a collection this big, but it's like habits um, that I have, I guess, just happen over and over again. Like like the like the <laughs> the habits happen over and over again. <laughs> like uh, where I'm reaching to pull these films. I just must have like these general places that my body wants to um, grab films. I don't know. Cool. <sighs> See? Look at this. I just grabbed this one like a couple days ago. So we got to get rid of this. And we're going to do it with, with, with this film right here. Ooh, I feel a snapper. Let me make sure I've seen it. Yeah, I've seen it. All right. Ooh, why is this like this? I wonder if it's the temperature down here. Okay, so we got rid of Bend It Like Beckham. And what we added was 13 Ghosts. Look at that. Okay, so 13 Ghosts. Let me do a quick little reminder. Uh, yes, this is because 13 Ghosts, and then there was like a Famke Jensen film that came out around the same time. What was it called? The House on Haunted Hill or something? And sometimes I'm like, wait, which one is which? But yeah, 13 Ghosts is the one I'm more familiar with, but I'm pretty sure I saw the other one first. And then I saw this one. I'm not sure if that's the order in which they came out. Could be, could not be. But I just want to see here. Yes, Tony Shalhoub. Um, people like Matthew Lillard. And Shannon Elizabeth. And uh, F. Murray Abram. He killed Mozart. Okay, here we go. Uh, 13 Ghosts, already talked about it. So this one, I remember the makeup effects looking really cool. You know, you had uh, the 13 Ghosts, and they're like trapped in these cages or whatever. And they, I think they were, if I'm, and now it's been a while, but I'm pretty sure they were like tortured in different ways. And they had like names like the Banshee and and the, the this and the that and the juggernaut and the sloth or you know I don't know was it the seven deadly sins I, I can't remember but it was stuff like that and um, man this cover is so lame I think it's like a photo mont montage I'm not a fan of those um, especially early ones they're just not, I don't know. <laughs> but the good, you get a variety of ghosts, and I'm not seeing repeated images here, at least that I can tell. So we are getting a variety of images, which kind of showcases the variety of ghosts, which is good. Thoughtful on their part, not repeating the same images over and over again. But yeah, I remember I liked the, the the makeup that was going on and some of the set design, like all of that was was good. Um, I feel like I did have some issues with the movie, just like, you know, eh, I don't know. It's like it's not, it wasn't scary or something, but I don't know even how scary it's trying to be. Uh, you know, if you're a kid and watching it, you're going to be scared, but um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um... I don't know. Oh, I think overall I like the movie, though, you know? All right, next we have Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I know this one is a huge favorite for many people. I know my aunt really liked this movie. 
and to me it wasn't uh, the John Hughes film for me. It was a lot. Of, he had a lot of other movies that were sort of my uh, John Hughes films, like The Breakfast Club. Like that was one of my mom's favorite movies. She's like the same age as all those people, so um, you know that was kind of more her. Uh, I guess um, that was more her era, I guess. So she sort of passed that along to me. And um, gosh, what else? John Hughes, Home Alone. I mean, he didn't direct it, but um, what else? Uh, Uncle Buck. You know, I I don't know. This this one. I'm, all I'm trying to say is. When it comes to John Hughes movies, this was not one that I was watching a lot when I was a kid, so I don't have a lot of strong, nostalgic attachment to it. It's it's all very minimal, because uh, I'm more attached to the, his other films. But, now, all, all that to say, I still really do like this movie, and I think it's good, and I love the Chicago-ness of it. Um, like, you know, just the familiarity that I have with it. Not that I was going to Chicago a lot, but that's kind of the thing. Uh, being from Illinois, when you when you go to Chicago, it's kind of like a. Um, I mean, if you're if you're downstate Illinois, going to Chicago is kind of an event. So the different things that he's seeing are like things that uh, a, a visitor might do or or go see. So it's kind of cool. He's like a tourist in his own town, sort of thing, um, which is cool. Okay, next we have <laughs> rear window. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How does he say that? Anybody else watch Hitchcock Presents on Nick at Night when you were a kid with your grandparents when you were spending the night at their house over the weekend? Good evening. How does he say it? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I can't do it. Good, good I, I'm doing a terrible job at it. I feel like I used to nail that when I was a kid. I just need to watch the show a lot. Uh, but yeah, Alfred Hitchcock Presents. It was kind of like maybe like a sort of a Twilight Zone, Outer Limits thing, but more like Hitchcock type little stories. And it was Alfred Hitchcock Presents. Um, well, that was just what it was called, right? I think it was just Alfred Hitchcock Presents. And then it'd have like a little sort of a unique little episode on TV. That's still in my head. I can still remember it. I can still remember it. And I have not listened to that theme song since I was a young child, uh, pre sixth grade. That's for sure. Because that's when, you know, my, my grandpa passed. So therefore, it was earlier than sixth grade. Was that sixth grade? 90, 93, somewhere around there. Um, yeah. That's, I mean, that's pretty wild that that's still in my head. Maybe not, because it's not like it was a show I watched all the time. You know, like like me just singing Tiny Toon Adventures or Animaniacs or Say by the Bell, that's not a big deal, because I was watching that every day. And this, I was just, you know, catching on the weekends or, you know, occasional weeknight when I was spending the night at my uh, grandparents' house. And, and that's just, that's just stuck with me. It was such a good theme and... I loved when he popped up, but that's one of the things. I, I always kind of watched the beginning, and then I would sometimes change the channel um, during the show because I wasn't always interested in it. Sometimes I would watch, not every time. And then um, I think he did, did an outro also. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Good memories. Good memories watching that with my grandparents. I remember asking them questions about him and just... Uh, do you watch I Love Lucy? I was always talking about uh, talking about uh, uh, Lucille Ball with my grandparents and stuff like that. Um, it was great. It was great. And they were they were quite a bit older um, in terms of like grandparent ages because like on on that side of the family, my grandparents were the same age as my great grandparents on the other side. So um, you know like. Uh, they just, they just had a, a wealth of, of wisdom and, and stuff. It was great. Love my grandparents. Um, anyway, Rear Window. <laughs> great movie. This is one of my favorites. Sometimes I think it is my favorite Alfred Hitchcock movie, but then you think about things like, um, Psycho. Actually, I think it's really only between the two of those, and sometimes I think it's just, it is Rear Window. 
Um, what is it? Because, you know, Vertigo was never my thing. Um, I like Rebecca, Best Picture winner. It's somewhere in this area. I think that might be it right there. I think that's it. And then, um, what else? Uh, 39 Steps. L what is that? The Lady Vanishes. Is that what it's called? Um, you, you know, there, there are all sorts of Hitchcock movies. Lots of them. And I don't know, I think Rear Window might be my favorite, which feels weird because I feel like Psycho should be my favorite. Maybe Psycho is my favorite. Um, Birds, I feel like I liked when I was a kid, but I rewatched it and I wasn't as into it. So I don't know. Anyway, Rear Window, good. Um, they made a movie sequel about it uh, illegally with Shia LaBeouf, Shia LaBeef. And that movie, I can't think of what it's called, but I will be watching it this summer because it's one of my wife's favorites. Disturbia is what it's called. Um, really love the opening credits to, or yeah, the, just the opening of Rear Window where we kind of get a view of his view uh, and understanding what he's looking at outside his window all the time uh, because he was like broke his leg and is in a wheelchair. He's like a photographer for like racing and it looks like, you know, as you're, as you're watching the opening, you're getting all of this information about him without a word being spoken and it's just like so great. It just shows how things on screen can tell you a wonderful story um, without dialogue and, and give you background on a character and it just does it so well. It's like, it's showing he's a, he's a photographer, he's broken his leg, it's hot. Um, he, he would photograph like fast car races. He's uh, stuck in his apartment, he has to look out this window and it shows you the different people that he's watching or that are outside his window. Um, so anyway, very good. And plus a oh, Grace Kelly. Hello. And beautiful. Anyway, how are we going to rank them? Um, you know, heck it. Let's do this. I'm going to put Ferris Bueller behind today because I'm kind of in the mood to rewatch this because it's been a while. And Rear Window, can't deny, so that's going to be number one. So Ferris Bueller on other days would be uh, second in this ranking, but today I'm going to go ahead and put 13 Ghosts, and a lot of that is because I just kind of want to rewatch it, and I remember liking uh, the the makeup on it and kind of how over the top that was. And um, But yeah, Rear Window, because it actually is the best of the three, and then again... The reason these are the way they are is just, uh, I want to watch a horror movie right now. I'm in that mood. So anyway, my question to you is, have you seen these films? And if so, what do you think of them? And if you've seen all three, how would you rank them? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below and perhaps we'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.